Excuse me, big man. Oh, thanks. Right now. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is V. Today I'm happy to present you guys Youth Action Coalition. Why handshake? 78 days before, 19th of August, we don't even know each other. But today I'm going to present you a successful project, 250% out of what I expect. So, first of all, let's just mention about our client. Organization's name, Conway's Care. Supplies the neatest food and Supply the neatest children in the Conway's area of the Orlando community with a pack of food each Friday. We talk a lot of times this semester. So let's look at some of the video we should come up with to show you guys what we did. Conway Cares is a hunger relief program through Servants Heart Center. And its goal is to provide children that are hungry in the Orlando community with food. As of right now, Understanding of the great need out there. My mom will sometimes make food and then she won't have enough stuff on, and I will just eat cereal or something. Other times, my parents will buy money because I don't have enough money to pay the food. We have to sometimes take food for butcher because we're not able to afford My name is Matthew Dalton, and um, as a uh, member of Youth Action Coalition, I, I have the distinct pleasure of working with 
these fun people. Our SMART goal was to raise $1,000 in combination of food and monetary donation uh, by October 28th. And as you can see, <laughs> we reached our goal and we have a little bit to add on to it. Um, we are very pleased um, with, our, uh, with our ability to rate, not only just re reach our goal, but to far exceed our, our goal. Now, uh, several of our, uh, um, our fundraisers went off without a hitch, and several of them you know, struggled, but they all worked together to contribute to our one goal. Operation Auction was able to far exceed its goal. Its goal was 250, we raised 1,500. Waters for Donation exceeded its goal by over $60, uh, sorry, $50. Uh, in South Salon, the drawing was able to exceed its goal by $4. And then we had a couple stumbling blocks. Indiegogo was only able to raise a fifth of its goal. Uh, fundraiser and Food Drive was only able to raise uh, 100 out of 250. We had the donation drop boxes as well, uh, which you know came close, but it, was, it wasn't exactly the goal that we wanted. But as a result, all those together, we were able to bring together our goal and far exceed it. Um, our client evaluation, they were very pleased with us. They were very happy with the, how we worked together as a group, how we came together as a group. And as a team, I think that it, it, it allowed us to come together and it, it made us all realize what it means to, to help others. Now, when it came to helping others, uh, we had to think in the long term. We had to think beyond our time in class. We had to think beyond our time at UCF. Uh, so we found a problem for Conway Cares. Nobody had ever heard of Conway Cares. So what we decided to do is we had to get out into the community and we approached businesses. And because of our determination and because of our passion for this project, a local Publix in Conway, InStyle Salon, and Graffiti Junction all want to continue doing fundraisers directly with Conway Cares into the future, beyond this class and with UCF in the future. Now, also getting in the community meant that we got to really talk with people uh, and Everyday people were really, really happy to hear from us. They had never heard of Conway Cares. They were blown away by what we did, and they were incredibly thankful for everything that we were doing. And uh, as you can see, here's a few more of us at our, at, this was at the Operation, uh, Operation Auction fundraiser. Uh, it was a huge success. People came back two days in a row just to continue even just being there and being able to talk with us. And they brought people with them. Now, there were problems. As you can see, we had fundraisers that didn't even get off the ground. And it was for various different reasons. Um, the scope was too large. We had a lack of planning. Um, we even had a situation where uh, we were just too slow to act. Um, by the time we were able to do it, everyone else had already done it, and we had no teachers that would be able to do extra credit for us. But we turned our failures into learning opportunities. We definitely learned the importance of being respectful of everyone's abilities. Uh, we adapted to change. The ice cream social, which was a failure, became water for donations, which was a huge success. Uh, we celebrated our diversity and what we could all bring to, the, to this course and to our, and to our project in general. Uh, our unifying focus was overall that our success would be Conway Care's success. And thankfully, because of all of our hard work and because of service-based learning, our client informed us that they're going to be able to expand to help one more school, which is another 40 extra children. Now, to finish off, we have to define what a UCF business graduate is. And we define a UCF business graduate as a catalyst that creates lasting and effective change in the community around them. And to us, a UCF graduate is a champion for others. So now, we're all done, and we're just waiting to torture Dr. Ford. 